The transformation of the W15 is taking shape at Brackley, and details about the 2024 Mercedes Challenger are gradually emerging. Recent statements from Hamilton and Wolff indicate that the W15 is poised to contend for the championship. What adds weight to this prediction is James Allison's revelation about the latest developments surrounding the W15. What has Allison disclosed, and how will it impact the W15 and the 2024 season? Let's delve into it. Mercedes, in its pursuit of ambition, faced two challenging seasons with the W13 and W14, both representing polar opposite designs. One was front-limited, while the other was rear-limited, highlighting fundamental issues in the car's aero and core concept. Hamilton and Russell raised concerns, including cockpit positioning and the loose rear end of the W14. Acknowledging these issues, team boss Toto Wolff assured that the technical team is committed to resolving them by 2024. Wolff has been diligently working to address every concern within the Mercedes car, offering reassurance to the team's fans. The Silver Arrows stand out for their unique car design with current technical regulations, with a departure from the prevailing Red Bull Aero design, a move Wolff described as bold and courageous. However, this decision came with high risks, as sticking to their distinctive concept didn't seem to work out, leading to the introduction of the W14B spec at the Monaco Grand Prix. When questioned about this, Wolff affirmed, I think we're bold and courageous to embark on the road with such a car. The previous concept was unprecedented, not attempted by any other team before, and unfortunately, it proved ineffective. In simple terms, it's a matter of physics, not mystics. These remarks reflect on the team's endeavors over the past two years. However, what holds greater significance is Wolf's commentary on the upcoming season and the W15 for the following year. Wolf indicated that the W15 would adopt a more conventional approach, aligning more closely with the rest of the grid while incorporating some unique elements from his team. Drawing from the experience gained with the W13 and W14, next year's car will adhere more to the expected standards of a Formula One vehicle. Despite its conventional nature, the W15 boasts some intriguing details not observed in other 2023 cars. The stopwatch will reveal the truth, and the Bahrain Grand Prix in the coming year will showcase a chassis, aerodynamics, characteristics, and suspension distinct from its predecessors. Every modifiable aspect will change. Virtual simulations have yielded positive results so far, but caution is essential in managing expectations. To contend for a championship, a substantial leap is necessary. Wolf, in a recent interview, expressed optimism, anticipating a performance improvement of at least two and a half seconds with the W15. Initially perceived as ambitious, this figure gains credibility with the latest update from James Allison, who has resumed his pivotal role as the full-time technical director. Allison's return brought a thorough diagnosis of the team's shortcomings, as he perceived Mercedes was no longer the championship-winning team he had previously been a part of. While collaborating with the team throughout 2023, Allison successfully identified the primary issue impeding Mercedes from regaining its competitive edge and steering developments in the right direction. The tech expert disclosed that the underlying problem within Mercedes stems from a significant loss of confidence among team members, a situation he believes has persisted since the events of Abu Dhabi in 2021. When a team accustomed to years of consistent success experiences a downturn, it can be disorienting. Allison explained that the confidence of the entire team had been significantly shaken after being outperformed by another team, and the familiar validation from the clock was no longer present. This setback introduced short-term pressures that unsettled the team's internal organization. In such situations, individuals are called to action, but instead of maintaining a cohesive effort, there's a risk that various aspects like vehicle dynamics, aerodynamics, and design operate in isolation, each attempting to solve problems independently. Without careful management, collaboration diminishes, and communication breaks down as team members become engrossed in their tasks. Allison identifies this as the primary obstacle hindering Mercedes's progress, and he emphasizes the importance of his role in resolving this issue. 
In a recently concluded interview, Allison highlighted a shift in his approach to the role of technical director at Mercedes, focusing more on the human aspect than the technical side. He has actively worked to facilitate communication among the key engineers leading different divisions within the company, aiming to alleviate some of the pressure. Allison stressed that his role, since returning as technical director, revolves around fostering collaboration and teamwork, rather than dealing with technical components like nuts, bolts, springs, shock absorbers, wings, or car bottoms. My responsibility was to facilitate communication among the managers overseeing the various aspects of the machine's development, ensuring renewed collaboration among them. Early in the 2023 season, news emerged about a significant error at the Mercedes wind tunnel facility leading to staff terminations. Allison's explanation sheds light on how such a seemingly avoidable mistake occurred. A breakdown in communication. He attributes the lack of communication as the root cause behind the creation of the W13 and the W14. Addressing this, Allison believes that fostering better communication within his team will be a pivotal positive factor for the upcoming 2024 season. Lewis Hamilton appears to endorse James Allison's communication strategy, evident in his regular visits to the factory. Following one such visit, Hamilton provided an update on the W15, expressing his trust in the team's work. Despite not being an engineer or designer, Hamilton finds the evolving process fascinating. He mentioned, I've seen the car in the wind tunnel and observing its development is always the most exciting time of the year. The next time I see it, it will be completely different. Once again, this update doesn't offer a comprehensive insight into the W15's development at Brackley. However, it appears optimistic, given the team's extensive experimentation in the wind tunnel, exploring various aerodynamic approaches for the 2024 season. These adjustments to aerodynamics present an opportunity for Bricksworth engineers to optimize cooling configurations, potentially enhancing the overall power output of the HPP power unit, as indicated by numerous recent reports. Now the question arises, can Mercedes, armed with their accumulated knowledge and under the technical guidance of James Allison ensuring a flawless foundation, rise to the challenge and narrow the lead that Red Bull has established over the past two years? Share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. As you scroll down, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for notifications on our future uploads, keeping you abreast of the latest developments in the 2024 Formula One season.